Thomas Sanders is one of my all-time favorite um, people to watch on YouTube. Like, he's just made so much great things. Um, and I'm always, like, coming back to his, his stuff. It's just, he's so talented and just incredible. And I figured, you know what, in honor of Mr. T's birthday, I want to do another video about his flagship show, Sanderside. Ugh. Like, Sandersides is not only, like, the best show on YouTube, it's also one of the best shows, period, that I've ever seen. Like, it just has such, like, fantastical performances, great characterization, and it's building up to something very big. So obviously, yes, Roman, Patton, Logan, Virgil, Janice, and Remus are just fantastic. Like, um, in terms of the sides, the one that's my favorite, like, the more, well, actually, like, all the sides are great. I love them. But I feel like the more time has passed... I think I know who my favorite is. Roman. Not only just because, like, he's just so dramatic and all, but he's very complex. And he's one who who's also such a tragic character. Like, throughout the show, Roman, his, like, current state, he's just in his self-esteem just gets worse and worse as the show goes on like the sides are ignoring him he gets manipulated by both Patton and Janice within the two parts uh self uh SVS like Roman is just one of those characters that I'm just like uh, like that I feel so attached to and I'm really and I'm really just like thinking what's gonna what they gonna do with him whenever we get to the season two finale? I'm definitely gonna be holding a plushie with me. I'll tell you that. If there's anything I learned from the our plushies, good for our mental health video. But yeah, all the other sides are just great, uh, and they they have so much fantastic interactions between each other. I hope Thomas doesn't get, get I hope I don't get, get in trouble with Thomas for this but let me play some of my favorite a couple of my favorite Sanders size interactions let's take a look how's he now well I might need to see some proof of that should we dust the stove for Prince did someone say Prince no hey! can I say you're all so handsome well that does make sense just not as handsome as me that does not make sense well you two have glasses you know like nerds <laughs> what are you laughing at hot topic oh you think I'm hot to see just come on out just show yourself. <laughs> all right, all right. Guilty as child. Hi, hello, what do you want? Thank you, Virgil. I love how you just ruined my dramatic introduction. Mwah, mwah, so good. Well, your face ruined my day, so we'll call it even. It also just goes to show that Thomas is such a fantastic actor, how he can different, differentiate his voice and all. Like, he's, such, he's so gifted. The episodes are also just so interesting, like, like Thomas mentioned, Sanderside started off as a one-off thing, but eventually grew into this thing. And you could slowly, slowly throughout season one see that it is start starting to become, like, the kind of vision that Thomas and Joan have. This especially comes clear when we get to the season one finale, Accepting Anxiety, which in my opinion, it's my favorite. All two parts. It's just, this is a turning point for the show. No longer is it just like the simple kind of, um, simple questions like, oh, I get to become a cartoon, 
or I'm growing up. No, this is like a deep dive into Virgil's psyche and why he feel and why he's wanting to reject himself and how the others start to accept him and how Thomas accept is accepting anxiety as a part of himself. It's so compelling and all. And it also just fall it also seems to follow the rules of a sequel. Like it expand we get to see more. Like we we get introduced to Virgil's room, which is like my favorite looking room of the of the whole show, aside from the Mind Palace. It tells us new things about the characters with Virgil and, and this and the other sides. And it leaves a big impact that it does. Virgil reveals his name, the other sides accept him, and this is where we get revealed that there are others. Other sides. Janice and Remus are so chaotic and I love them. <laughs> I love how much of a shady bitch Janice is. Like, Thomas definitely know that part. And Remus! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> He's just... I don't have the words for him. He, he, he's Remus. Costumes are also just so fantastic. Like, I... I adored the... The clothes... The season one clothes... Um, that Thomas basically used, like, during his time on Vine. And I also just really love the upgrades that they got in the uh, Hogwarts spinning in video. I don't know if Thomas is going to introduce new outfits for season 3, but we'll see. Janice and Remus's costumes just look so detailed and fantastic. Like, I love the kind of 1920s style for Janice. Like, I'm just a fan. I'm a sucker for period costumes. And Remus, holy cow, is that such a detailed costume. That's... Also, I want to cosplay again as Roman, but I just, I can't find the right materials. Hopefully someday. Uh, the only time I got to cosplay as Roman was in 2022. Another thing, uh, the songs. Songs are also really great. Even though, even though there's only like a couple, they're just spot on. Crocker's the musical. Um, Forbidden Fruit. Um, Rhythm Redux and uh, what else? oh yes um, the pup the puppet song from Learning New Things About Ourselves oh yeah the puppets in there also look fantastic like I think Adam Krueger just nailed it out of the park and Nate Beagle did a fantastic job operating them in fact let's go into the behind the scenes stuff like the show also just it's also so fun to watch from like a technical standpoint how they were made back in the beginning it was just Thomas, Joan, and Talon making videos but then they started to get more Quill, AJ Davi um, James and just other countless talented people involved like and y'all and Thomas's other friends also get to be in it like Valerie Terrence, uh, Leo, uh, as well as like getting freaking Leslie Odom Jr., Tara Strong in Sandersides. Like, that is crazy. And uh, Nico's also a really great addition. I'm really excited to see where Thomas and Nico's relationship goes in the future. But yeah, I just, I, truth be told, I could just talk about Sandersides for hours upon hours. Like, it's such, such a great show. It's like one of the best shows I've ever seen. So yeah, this is my birthday present to you, Thomas. Thank you for making such this incredible show. And thank you for introducing me to this awesome um, fandom. And Thomas... I know, if you're watching this, just please know, I know, <clears throat> I know you, people tell you this a lot, but take the time to yourself, like, to make, like, take the time to yourself, to you and the crew, like, 
like just don't overwork yourselves like and also I want to not only do I want to thank you Thomas but I want also want to thank Joan Talon Quill Dominic Davi AJ Leo Terrence Valerie and everyone else for just helping make this just amazing show like you guys are the freaking best all I can just say is that I'm really proud to be a fander happy birthday king